students today we will discuss about the work energy and power in the previous class we have studied the different units okay now we will discuss about the work energy and the power what is the work what is energy and what is power we will discuss separately let's talk about the work we have seen the work means what means to do anything that is in a way we can say the word work now i am standing here that means what that is also the work you should know it means in the scientific sense when we can say that work means the force applied the in the direction and there must be the displacement means the force applied and the displacement must be required that is the work work in a scientific sense suppose i am now standing here and when i move i displace some distance it means work i cover some distance by applying the force that is what work that is work if i am standing here and i am not moving anywhere it means that i am not doing the work in the scientific sense yes in the scientific sense i am not doing the work it means just take another example suppose a boy is pulling the wall till 2 hours does that boy are doing work in scientific sense he are not doing he is not doing the work because he is not taking a displacement he is applying the force but he does not displace yes so the work means what in a scientific sense work means to displacement the force applied in the direction that must be the displacement that is what work so we can define as the work can be defined as the product of force and the displacement the product of the force and the displacement means what distance over in another sense we can define as work can be done or work done by the force acting on the body is defined as the product of force and the displacement of body in the direction of force applied it means in which direction the force are applied and that body are covering some displacement this some distance that means what that is what work means one second i am saying i am standing here without covering any distance that means i have in a scientific sense i am not doing the work because i am not covering any certain distance i am only standing here yes so work means what there must be the work displacement in which the force is applied now this work is what it is a scalar quantity what is it is a scalar quantity now when we talk about the mathematically work means force and to displacement the product of force and displacement it means in in the direction of the force applied that is the displacement so the that is called the w is called to be f into s this means what force into displacement its distance covered now i will show you so now let's see here means here is the two bodies one is the inertial and another is the final okay when the body from the force is applied from f from one inertial position and it is to the this final position it's covering with distance d <coughs> okay if the force is applied from a body that is the what d is the displacement in the direction of the force and work done is w by the work given then what is w is equal to f into d what is f into d because there is the force is applied and the distance displacement take place it means w means what means product of force and displacement product of force and displacement yes we have seen that from the initial positions when the body is moves to the final positions there must be applied what force is applied and due to the force from displacement is take place that is the d it means w is equal to what the product of 
force and the displacement. Now, excitement of force is Newton. What is the excitement of force? Newton. So, no. excitement of force is Newton and displacement is what? Meter. What is the excitement of displacement? Meter. It means unit is Newton meter. What is force means what? Newton in Korea means meter. It means what? Newton meter. Excitement of work equals what? Newton meter. Means which is called what? Joule. It is also what is it is called? Joule. What is? Joule. It means assignment of work is what? Joule. It means when one joule is equal to one newton, one newton force and one newton displacement, means that is called what? One joule work. It means when one newton force is displaced by body to one meter in one direction, that is called what? One joule work. One joule work means what is that one joule work? It means one joule work means when one joule work means one newton force apply and displace one meter. That is called what one joule work. Or we can say that one joule work can be defined as when one newton force displaces a body through one meter in one direction, that is called what? One joule work. What is that? One joule work. Means what is that? SI unit of work is what? Joule. What is? SI unit of work is joule. Now, in CGS system, in CGS system, work is measured in hours. In CGS system, what is the work is measured in hours? It means one hour's work is that in which one band force covers a distance of one centimeter. One hour. What is, means in CGS system, work is measured in hours. In SI system, work is measured in joule. In CGS system, the work is measured in hours. What is odds? Means what is the one odds? One odds means one odds means odd means when a body of one time force covers a distance of one meter. It means one odds or means one what is one dime? One dime means what? It is the unit of what in CGS system force the unit of force in CGS system is dyne. It means one dyne when it is displaced a body into one centimeter. One centimeter that is called what? One arch. When a one dyne force displaces a body in one meter that is called what? One arch. It means one dyne force is that which can be the produced and acceleration of one centimeter or square in a one one gram mass. What is one dyne force? One dyne force is that which can produce an acceleration of one centimeter per second square in one gram mass. What is in one gram mass when a body is accelerated in one centimeter per second square that is called what? One dyne. Once again we said one dyne means that the product of an acceleration of one centimeter per second square in one gram mass that is called what one dime. It means one or is equal to one dime centimeter. It means one joule is equal to ten to the power seven or one joule is equal to ten to the power seven or. Now, what are the conditions for the work done? Yes, what are the conditions for the work done? The conditions, there are two conditions for the work done. Right? There are the two conditions for the work done. One is the force must be applied. Already previously I told you, means that is W is called what? The product of force and displacement. So no, it means the force must be applied and the, the applied force must be produced or displacement in any direction, in any direction except perpendicular to the direction of force. It means the perpendicular when the as of the force is applied at that time there is no work is done. Suppose anyone is carrying her or some things on her head and they are strengths. Yes? 
It means at that time you can consider that that is not the work done. Means except the perpendicularly, the displacement take less. That is the work. When the displacement is perpendicular, then at that time the work is not done. So there are the two conditions is required for the work done. One is the force must be applied, and another is the applied force must be the produced to the displacement in any direction. In any direction they displace except perpendicular. So there are the two types of the work. One is work done against the gravity, and another is work done against the frictions. Now let's see. Okay, generally we can consider that. The work is done against the gravity and against the friction. The work is, there are two types of the work done. One is work done against the friction and another is work done against the gravity. Means, let's talk about the work done against the friction. As you know, when we roll the ball on the ground, yes, what will happen? After the shock, perhaps the ball has stopped on the ground. It means what? What is the reason behind that? Due to the friction. It means when the body opposes the motion of another moving body in another way, yes, that is due to the what? Friction. It means some of the work yeah, that is done against the friction. Just take one example. Take one box, yes, and by the help of the effort, a spring balance, apply some effort. And it displacement what? D. It reaches in the air. It means this is the work done against the what? Friction. Yes, it means this is the work done against the what? Friction. Suppose, take another example. Take a log and pull that off. And when you pull that up, it displaces from one point to another place. It means what? That work is done against the what? Gravity. That is the, oh, sorry, that is done against the what? Frictions. It means, what is that friction? When that opposes, what is friction of force? The force which opposes the motion of moving body. That is what? Friction force. Means, due to the frictions, here the friction force is applied. In this, you have seen that, right? There is a one, there is a one box, and when by the help of the sum, we fall this three balance, we pull it. So no, it means that it means that it is the work is done against the what? Frictions. What is the work done against the frictions? So W is equal to what we have actually F into D means it covers the some displacement or not. So there are the many there are two types of the work done. One is work done against the friction and another is work done against the gravity. Now, well, let's talk about the work done against the gravity. It means, another is the what? Work done against the gravity. Means, this is the spring balance. Take a spring balance and this is the load. Means, when by the help of the load, this spring balance, when the load is operated to the height h, what is height h? It means, we are doing the work against the gravity. Means, suppose when we pull the water from the well, means at that time what? We are doing the work against the gravity. Because the, there is also the attraction of the gravitational force on the body. So, no, it means against we are pulling it. So, here to lift our body to a high edge, we have to apply the force against the what? Force of gravity to lift, uh, suppose here is the load, and to lift uh, this load, we have to apply the what? Force means this is the force against the gravity. So, as we know that W means what? F into what is that? The distance covered means what? H. We can consider the force and to the height because we have been work done against the gravity. We have done the work done against the gravity. That means W is called to F into H we can write instead of the displacement because displacement in where W is called to F into D where the displacement takes place in the what well, against the gravity that is the height H means how much height is covered that is called what well, H it means generally we can also write that W is equal to F into H when the work done against the gravity and when work done against the friction that is W is equal to 
F into D. Okay, then what is the sign unit of work? Joule. Okay, now let's do some numerical questions related to the work done. Okay, let's do some numericals. One is a force of 600 Newton displaces a body through high through the 50 meter. Calculate the work done. In this question, we have to calculate the work work done. Means let's do it. Means how much the force? The force is force applied. That is here how much? 600. And the displacement? Displacement. Displacement that is yes. how much? To a 50 meter. Well, work done. Work done is equal to what we know that W is equal to F into S we have extra here W is equal to F into S so F means how much? 600 into S means 50 it means Newton meter it means what is? 630 1, 2, 3 it means what? Joule. It means what is 30 Joule work is done. Okay? In this way, we can do the next questions. Now, question number 2. A crane lift a wooden log of 200 kg up to the height of 25 meter. What is the mass of crane? Of the, what is the mass of the wooden log? 200 kg up to the height of 21. Displacement means what? 25 meter. From the odd surface, calculate the work done against the gravity. You have to calculate the work, work done against the gravity. So, let's do it. It means, what is the mass of the wooden log? Mass of Wooden log how much? 200 kg height yes it's got how much? 25 meter so it means acceleration due to gravity acceleration due to gravity how much? 9.8 meter per second square. Yes. So now, what we have done? Work done against the gravity. Work done against gravity. That is equal to work. Then we know that we can do. We know that. We know that W is equal to what? F into H. I have already explained you. F into X. F means what? Mg. F means Mg. M into G into H. Now, when done means M means what max? How much? 200. Into G means 9.8, I means 25. It means how much Joule is work is done? Means the work done against the gravity is 49,000 Joule. Okay, in this way we can do the several numerical questions related to the work done against the gravity. Okay, thank you, class.